got a new challenge this week with uh, Vincent uh, from uh, USC. Have you ever played against him before? Um, I've actually played with him um, a couple times, played it with him in a couple camps. Yeah, so I'm kind of familiar with him. Okay, what makes him so good? Um, I would say his size and um, and um, he kind of move well for his size also. So I think that's just one of his biggest things. You look forward to a challenge like that? Yeah, um, we've we've had a couple of talks about the challenge and um, the game. So yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun game. You corresponded with him this week? Um, not this week, but okay. maybe a little bit earlier. Okay. In the year. So yeah, I'm sure you're glad that he's recovered and back now. Yeah, I'm, I'm really gl glad. Um, he, he recovered really well, and um, he's back playing again. And I'm excited for him and see where he, where he can take it to. You know. Seems like last week you weren't maybe as much a part of the offense as you were the previous few weeks. <clears throat> How much of that was foul trouble, and then just you know guys not being able to find you with entry passes? Um, I, I would say um, we 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 just been, um, we didn't we, we didn't execute our um, offensive plan. Um, our sh our shooting wasn't going in. Um, our passing wasn't the greatest. Our screening wasn't the greatest, and um, our rebounding wasn't the greatest. So I think everything just fell in place. Like we didn't do this, and it affects the other stuff. So it, like we're not doing good at one thing, and it affects every other thing. So I would just say it's just like we're not doing good in general. After last week in practice, is there anything specific uh, you've been focusing on offensively? Um, uh, like I've always said, I just focus on my offensive rebound. And, um, I focus on my rebound. Um, when it's crowded, I try to kick it out for the guards. And when I feel like I can go back right up right away, I go back up right away. And um, I would say it's rebound, you know. When you were talking about being playing with Vince in those camps, did you guys go against each other quite a bit? And do you remember how well you did with against him? Did you beat him on a lot of drills, or how, um, how was that interaction? Um, obviously, it's a camp, and you right. know, we're there for fun. And uh, at the same time, we're there to develop our skill and also show our skill set. So we didn't we didn't go much against each other. We won the same team actually, and we won we won the whole camp by the way. Okay. <laughs> but um, we didn't go much against each other, but we definitely challenged each other to some games and everything. And he's like a he's like a friend a friend of mine. And yeah, I think we 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 we've had some couple games, but there's not like anything serious, you know. So. And then we constantly ask you, you know, what you can do better, and you're talking about offensive rebound. What do you feel like you have done? Uh, what, if you had to analyze yourself, what do you think you've done the best since being at UCLA? Um, one, one thing um, Cronin says, that my <clears throat> high school coach used to say, says listening is a skill. Mm. Um, I would say my, 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 my listening ability has improved a lot. Um, I, tr I, I tend to, like, I, I try to catch on what the coaches say to me and um, what they need me to do and apply it in the game. Um, I would say one of my listening skills skill got, has gotten better. And um, I would say in general, everything, everything has developed from high school and college. It's way different than it came, you know. So I always have developed in general in every, almost every aspect. Um, by being here at UCLA and being coached by one of the one of the best college coaches. So I would say that. How do you think you've been able to handle the college game physically? Like when you're in the games playing against other other big guys, how, was, how have you been able to handle that pretty well? Yeah, um, beginning of the year, it was kind of a little bit of struggle. Uh, Cause I, I didn't know it was gonna be like that. I was like, I, I got the size, you know, I got the strength. But I think it's not just the strength, it's not just the size, it's also the will and also the um, commitment, you know. So I've learned that, and um, I'm, I've, I think as the year go on, I've, I've started, I've started to um, adapt to the physicality and the strength of college basketball. So I think um, beginning of the year I started slow, and towards now I'm trying, I'm, I'm starting to adapt to it. Thank you. Last week, you uh, Arizona State, Arizona, big crowds, um, very loud, and you're probably going to have it at USC. You know, what's, what's that experience like going into an arena like that where it's just you know everyone's against you? Um, it's fun, you know. Um, we knew it, we, we knew it was going to happen. We expected um, the crowd. Um, that was my first time being in this kind of I would say second time after Maryland. Um, that's kind of one of my first experience of being in that kind of environment. You know. Um, I was I was excited. I, I think I was a little bit way too excited, but um, <laughs> it, <laughs> but it was it was it was it was good great experience. You know, playing playing with all the odds against you. It, it was fun. You know, um, I was ready to do everything to get the dub, and unfortunately we fell short. And 
you have a game, but I um, I believed in I believed in our team. We had um, we had the chance to to do it better if we have a chance to play the game. Tell us about the block at the end of the Arizona State game. That <laughs> was um, you didn't want you didn't want the you didn't want him to score even though the game was won. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. <laughs> obviously I didn't want him to score and two. Um, I thought it was two seconds left and um, I don't know why he was going for the for it to score and I was like, ah, then we go up to fight for this. <laughs> yeah, that, Did you say something to him? Um, I just walked away. I looked him and I walked away. You know. Okay. Did yeah. somebody said somebody threw a ball at you or something from the bench. Did that happen? Yeah. Um, I I I don't know. At this point, I, I was so excited that we got a win. I was walking to the bench. Okay. And I looked back and I saw his brother coming after me, but I was just walking away. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you saw your tweet about the shooting. How much? Uh, how much work you been putting in on that? Uh, a lot. A lot. I've been missing a lot of bunnies around the room, stuff like that. Stuff I was making at a high rate towards the beginning of the year. I work on getting my second foot down and finding the room. Sometimes I shoot like spinning. So, how's that been going? Not good though. Good. Who, who works with you on that? Just yourself? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be in here by myself on like the little shooting machine, so I rebound for me, so I can get them up faster. I'm not to chase them around. Sometimes the managers will come too. So that, have you been doing long hours doing that, coming in like before yeah. practice? No, I come late at night. I come in here with nobody else, probably 10, 30, 11. Wow. You know what I mean? And I'll stay for like an hour and then get it back home, shower, sleep, and wake up. And you got to care about like 8, 30. Are you working on specific shots or everything? Yeah, right now, just really my floaters. Okay. But so I always work on my catch and shoot, but you can never do too much of that. But right now, my floaters, because that's like a big part of my game. And it's kind of on and off right now. And I need to get to where I'm hitting it consistently again. Yep. Is the repetition is the repetition more so for confidence, or are you actually trying to fine tune something mechanically? Nah, more confidence because I'm not missing them by much. They're right. either back rim or in and out and stuff. But I just need to get it to where I feel like I can drop it every time, like I was at the beginning of the year. Is there such thing as a good miss? Uh, yes and no. I feel like a good miss is a reboundable miss. So if it's something that's not starting another team's fast break or transition, and you actually have a shot at rebounding, so like anything that falls within the circle, the first circle, the little arc, I feel like that's all right. If it's popping way off and they're able to run and grab, I feel like that's the bad miss. You guys haven't beaten SC, not SC since you've been here. How much do you want to check that box? Oh, a lot. I mean, <laughs> a ton. Uh, I mean, it's a big game for them. It's a big game for us. We got to rebound to keep pushing for our dreams. And um, our coach sent us a thing that they're on the bubble for the tournament, so they need this game. And, I mean, you beat UCLA, I'm pretty sure that's a quad one win. So that helps you out in a lot of categories. Do you know Vince at all? Nah. No? You don't know? Okay. Though I did hear he did, like, have the, the thing. So yeah. it's cool to see him back playing with him and stuff. A few of the last games have been at the end of the season. Does it take the pressure off, uh, especially when at the end of the season more stuff is on the line, or is this just another game? Uh, it is basketball at the end of the day. I feel like um, every game I feel like is, has equal importance. It's fun. Um, at the end of the season, I feel like more people probably come out to watch because it's a more exciting time of the year, especially when you have the conference tournament and then eventually March Madness. But, I mean, to us, it's, it, I mean, the, the game we're trying to get to is the very last one. So every game, regardless if it's USC or Washington State or Oregon State or Oregon, they're all looked at equal in our eyes. What's the update on your on your uh, rate for the Steels record? What what, what are we? What's um, the math there? I mean, sheesh, I've gotten like <laughs> three a game. I, will, I feel like almost every game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have it or not? I, I don't. I was asking. Oh. Fifty one steals in in. Uh, oh, I guess technically I do. Yes. Yeah. Fifty one <laughs> steals and you played twenty games. So. Was, uh, I'm behind. Two and I'm and a half at, or something. I'm at. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say. I think I'm a little over two and a half, but. Uh, uh, how many games we got left in conference? <laughs> got Eleven. Eleven, and then like in Vegas, if it goes right, then four. Three. Then, uh, Three, because you don't want four. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a bye. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then March Madness, if everything goes right, four. So yeah, it's gonna get close to here towards the end. Okay. It's gonna get close, but I think I'm in like shooting range though. So. Okay. Is the record ninety seven? No, I think ninety three or something. Ninety three, ninety two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm in. I'm in range. Right there. I'm in range. Okay. Uh, There was a lot of talk about just six deflections in the first half the other day. How important is it to get that number really high to set the tone early in this game? It it helps. I mean, even if you look at how we were scoring the ball easier, especially me, is that I was getting like six to eight free points a game just off breakout steals or just running, and I feel like that gets just everything else 
go right more smoothly. You have 10 free points. I mean, the last game, you get eight, six to eight free points. The, the outcome is different. So that's the, that's huge for us, humongous. Can you brought up your uh, individual shooting, but as a team in the half court, uh, you know, when the shot's not falling, what's the key to, uh, you know, uh, I guess the, the execution? Uh, yeah, we got to screen better and pass it better. I know there's a few times I came off and threw a lackadaisical pass against Sylvan. But there was times I was trying to back door and we weren't communicating and get thrown out of bounds. Um, if we eliminate stuff like that, I think we'll be fine. And setting really good screens and getting people open. Um, I don't know how many turnovers we had the last game. I know it wasn't like a ton. It wasn't a ton. It wasn't a ton. So if you clean up those two, three, four possessions, I mean, that could be a two. But I mean, you can always play the what if game. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think you've won at SC since you've been here. How much would that be? How nice would that be to go over there and get a win at SC? Um, it would be amazing. Uh, we just want to go over there, play a good game for 40 minutes, and hopefully come out with a dub. Um, there was a lot of talk after the game about six deflections in the first half. How important is it to get that number up to kind of get the defensive flow going, trigger some some. Do you mean confidence? like last game? Yeah, last game. Like, Arizona? Yeah, getting it up higher this game. Um, well, they're a different team um, with different players. So, you know, we're going to have to guard them, how our personnel says. And we're just going to have to be aggressive and get back on defense and play the passing lane. So. I just say we'd have to be more aggressive on defense. That's just one thing we can control. We can play harder on that end. So we just gotta try to do that. Coach says better shooting comes from better ball movement. And obviously you're great at that, but how can the rest of the guys help you with the ball movement to get easier shots for everybody? Um, I just say everybody just believing in themselves and you know, you can't move the ball unless, you know, you're a willing passer and those are things you wanna do. So I think with the guys it's just we're getting good shots. Uh, they're just they're, they're not going in. So I don't. I wouldn't say you know to oppose coach like we're not moving the ball because of course, coach is right. Like we need to move the ball more. We need to get better shots. But I think a uh, part of it is also just we're getting good shots. They're just not going in. You've been able to uh, score. You know, I think you had 22 against Arizona. Um, do you find when the team is having trouble scoring? Um, that you need to you know, take the game into your hands, or do you feel that it's just the offense uh, opening up for you? Um, I'd say when uh, you know it's a little bit of a struggle for us to score, um, I, of course, go to try to make a play. I would do that when we're not trying to struggle anyways, or when we're not struggling anyways. But um, like at Arizona State, the first half, we had some foul trouble. So, you know, I had to take it upon myself to try to score a little more. And, um, you know, my, I was hitting my free throws, some shots were going in, but, uh, yeah, I'd say so, just like when I need to and when it's needed. Uh, so. Tiger Amari's missed seven <clears throat> games um, with injury, and obviously you've been through injuries and his uh, isn't as significant. However, have you had a chance to talk with him about what it's like to kind of sit on the bench and want to play but not being able to? Uh, yeah, uh, I just try to – I know when I was sitting out, um, it was hard for me to, you know, stay confident and – Know, belief within myself because I wasn't out there playing I wasn't out there with my you know my brothers but um, I just try to tell him like you know you got to get healthy because we need you out there and um, I just always try to instill in him that like we need him you know no matter what so when he comes back just make sure that he's good and you know ready to go when you're when you're sitting there and you can't play as a, as a college basketball player is it hard not to like feel bad for yourself a little bit uh yeah I'd say it is but um, at the end of the day, Amari, you know, he knows why he's here. You know, he's a great player, and um, I think he'll figure it out. He's a very confident player, and, you know, we got his back, so I don't think he has anything to worry about. Thank you.